Hello everyone, this is Vertic Designs here and for this video I'm going to show you how to zoom in and out in your video. This is something I do quite often on my channel to show people who may be watching my videos on mobile and it just makes it easier because some icons are smaller and some text is quite hard to read. You can also use this for any other thing, not just desktop mode, you can use it for games to zoom into little detail or anything else you want to zoom into. Before we can actually start, there's two ways of importing a video. The first way is to go to File and Open, or you can go to the folder and just drag it into Sony Vegas Timeline, and this will import it automatically. I am not going to need the audio file, so I can right click on this, go to Group, Remove from Group, and then I can press Delete, just because I didn't have any sound for this video. And the other thing that I'm going to do is go to Properties, and then disable resample because I don't want resample. So the very first thing is to cut your video. If you don't know how to split videos, you press S on your keyboard and this will cut a video. This is just so we can get rid of the parts that we don't need and we can keep other things. I'm also going to go to the video properties and just make sure that everything here is correct and I can use my own template. This is going to be 60 FPS, which is right there and apply. To actually zoom into your video, you want to click on the event and crop. This will let you edit the video and zoom in. Basically, the way it works is that you have keyframes. If you're new to keyframes, keyframes are used to position certain things. So for example, we are going to reposition the camera. You can use it for objects, you can use it for text and anything else. With the camera right now, it is on the default. As you can see, this is the border and anything outside of the circle we cannot see it is pitch black. First of all, make sure that you click on this, sync to cursor. What this does is that it will sync your video up to this and it makes it a lot easier because when you preview in here, it will also appear on the side as well. I'm going to just look through it and it is about here where it starts, so I'm going to use the scroll wheel again to zoom into the timeline where the keyframe is. Move this slightly forward. You can hold shift and drag this in, and that will zoom it in. It is kind of like an opposite effect, if you think about it. And you now want to use the arrow keys on your keyboard and just go up slightly until you are happy with it. So for me, that looks really good. I quite like that. So the reason why we created two of them is because it goes from the default size and it zooms in slowly. If you don't want this animation, then you can delete this one right here and it will stay like this. But most of the time, it is quite nice to have that smooth zoom in effect where it slowly zooms into the video. Now, if we quickly preview this from the beginning, you will notice that the video zooms in nice and smooth. Now you can see that the second part of the video, it kind of cuts the settings. So we're going to edit this by going to the event crop again. We're going to go back very slightly to about here. We are also going to use the next keyframe. Keep pressing it until it pops up. So about here, I'm going to just click on this, press the right arrow, and then press the left arrow just to move it slightly and this creates you a point. Once we've got this one, we can move slightly further down the timeline and we can hold shift again and drag this out using the arrow keys again to move this down. And now if we look through the video, you will notice that it zooms in and it also follows the settings which pop up now let's say we want to make this zoom out. So if we go further down the line and go to a part where this option is gone, for example, here, we want to go to the most recent part, which is about here. And once again, press the right arrow key and the left one just to move it to the right and back to create a keyframe and move a little bit further down the timeline. And the way I like to set it back to default instead of dragging it this, I go to this option here and click on default and that will just set it back to its normal position. And now if you look at this, it is going very slow because I have OBS open, but if we 
click about here, let's see, and preview it. It zooms out very nice and smooth. And that is pretty much it. That's how you zoom in and out of your video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. It shows other people that it was a good video. I have a lot more Sony Vegas tutorials on my channel if you'd like to check them out. There is a playlist in the description. Leave a comment on what you thought of the video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.